Good day, fellas. Today we replace the irreplaceable belt on the Zindab sewing machine with the magic of 3D printing. Short recap for those that didn't watch part one. The uh, belt in here, which links the top mechanism with the bottom mechanism to feed the thread through, was in quite poor shape on my machine. Maybe you can see that uh, chunks have broken out of this. The plastic has just gotten frail over time. And, um, and it wasn't really something that would last permanently anymore. And so I decided to try and replace the belt on here. The problem is, there are no replacement belts. This is some odd number, this is not a standard tooth pattern, and the thickness is not standard, nothing is standard, and they aren't manufactured anymore. The closest I could find was this toothed belt, which as you can see is quite a bit larger in size than this one. Uh, the teeth are a lot more pronounced, and it is much stiffer. This thing is made to conduct speed and power, and um, for that reason it is very stable. So by bending it and comparing that to this one, it's uh, well a night and day difference, and that is the difference which makes this thing not want to work with a belt like this. It's just too stable, and far too much power gets lost in friction of bending this thing over the tooth wheels. So, I abandoned that idea, but a very kind person reached out to me and said, let me 3D print you one. The time and age we live in actually permits to not only 3D print any size and shape of plastic you want, but it also permits you to print flexible plastic. And so I went ahead and made a CAD model of this thing. He 3D printed it for me, and I put it in the machine. And it worked actually. The first one was more of a rough sketch up, so it was a little bit too long. I made myself a belt tensioner for this thing with a ball bearing which kind of sits on existing holes in here and uh, holds the belt under tension, which worked, yes, but uh, you know, it was more of a proof of concept. And so I made a second CAD drawing, sent it that to him, this time a little bit shorter and also a little bit thinner around the crest. And uh, now this thing runs so smoothly that it's absolutely indistinguishable between the original belt and the new one. Now I test ran this belt for at least an hour, I would say, with very acceptable result. The belt still looks like new, and uh, the threads this thing is putting out look uh, very acceptable too. So I think this is actually a uh, well permanent solution. So by now I've changed the belt on this thing uh, three times, I think, and it's really not that difficult once you've got the hang of it. Um, all you need to pay attention to is the timing between the needle and the rotating spool. You don't want the needle to hit the spool. You want it to enter in this fork, uh, you know, as close as you can get it, within the realms of, you know, moving the needle back and forth, because that has to be, you know, within the tolerances. And then, of course, the timing of the needle step over needs to be aligned with the position of the needle, too. You want the needle to step over at the top dead center. You don't want it to move about when it's down there or mid travel. Um, you know, it can just be done with a little bit of patience. 
take care that the gears match properly and have a tiny bit of end play, not too much, not too little. And that's really all there is to it. Loosen all the screws, pull the shaft out, put a new belt in, that's it. Once you're used to it, 15 minutes maybe. Um, so I can really encourage anybody to do this. And um, if you need the CAD model to you know, get somebody to, to 3D print it for you or to print it yourself, then uh, just hit me up, give me an email and um, I'll gladly send that to you along with the dates that you need, you know, the material and the temperatures for it. I can actually put it down here in the subtitles if you want to. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for the guy that uh, printed the belts for me. I would have never thought of it. And um, well, that's it for this one. Thanks. Bye.